Okay, you pass the audition. Now let's roll the uh, tape for real. <laughs> uh, welcome to Ithaca Music Today, Fred. Oh, thanks a lot, Fred. Fred Ryder, I should say. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Thank you. And uh, Stan Jordan, welcome back to Ithaca Music Today. Thank you. It's a real pleasure. Um, I've seen you guys in Princeton, and I've seen you guys play in Ithaca, and I've seen you guys on this show today, and you have something going, something really nice, and hopefully a lot of people will be able to uh, catch it while you're in town this week and also in the future. And I'm glad you can make it here. Um, just for starters, what were you just playing for us? Oh, that was a, a tune that I wrote. It's called Clearway. And it was just uh, something I kind of put together on the piano a little while ago. On the piano, that, that's interesting. So how did it end up on the uh, flute and the guitar? Well, right here, but usually I like to write a lot of my things on the piano because you can hear, you know, the chords. Just playing like flute and sax, you don't really get to hear the, the, the whole, the chord movement and things like that. So I like pianos fuller. It's like a whole orchestra, really. Um, do you fellas usually work together? I know you were up here playing solo last time you were up. Uh, off. Why don't you feel this one, Stan? Well, what were you asking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fred. <laughs> I was saying, um, do you usually work together or, because when you were last in Ithaca, you were playing solo, so I'm wondering if this is now your usual uh, modus operandi or what? Well, it's always changing, you know, we're running all over the place. When I came to Ithaca last time, Fred went out to Washington. So, you know, sometimes we split up and go different ways. Other times we play together. The last time I kind of wanted to check this town out and see if it was friendly and so forth. So it is. So I told Fred and I said, you got to come back. You got to come here. So you were the so, advance party, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could say that. I just I did. <laughs> What's that? He was the Eagle Scout. You know. Gotcha. Okay, just a word, um, even though you were on the show, you were in Ithaca, and we went over this just for the people that uh, uh, weren't lucky enough to catch it, how about just a quick word on your style of guitar playing, which is uh, at least unique to this area? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, this is what I do. I'm playing what I call a uh, touch technique. That's what I'm using. And what I'm doing is not picking the string. I'm just tapping on the string, and I can do that with either hand. I can play with this hand. <laughs> this hand or I could play with both so often what I do is I use this hand for playing chords and then I so you can actually get a lot more going than a guitarist that's just working in standard form yeah I mean I like to use both for example with this kind of technique get certain kinds of rhythmic things that are just a lot harder to do here. So I use both. Last time, I think I only did the touch. I, yeah, last time I was here. But I do both, you know, whatever fits the song. Right. Okay. Also, you're not playing in standard tuning. Oh, right. Uh, my guitar is tuned E, A, D, G, C, and F for all the guitar players out there. You see, the advantage of this tuning is that if you play a chord like this, play it the same way if it's here, the same way if it's here. Whereas with the regular tuning, that would be three different pictures I'd have to learn. And so right away, that's, you know, three times as much material as I'd have to learn in order to just get that one chord. So I'd use this in order just to make things more efficient. You know, over the same amount of practice time, I can get more music together. Great. And uh, also, Travis Bean, does this uh, lend itself especially well to your style? It does because it's well made enough, the neck is accurate enough so that I can get the strings low to play in this way. Most guitars, you can't really get the strings low enough because if they get too low, then you get all these buzzing noises and so it really doesn't work out that well. So that's mainly it. I mean, it's got this chrome-plated aluminum neck. It's kind of cool looking, but basically there's nothing really, really super special about it that lends itself to the technique. It's just a nice guitar, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Fred, uh, where are you going to be playing this week while you're in Ithaca? Uh, well, Let's see, I think um, Tuesday night we're doing a, the duet gig at the Nines. That's in town. And uh, Stanley has a, a solo gig on yeah, Sunday night. Sunday at Plums. At Plums. Okay, you better <laughs> speak to me. Yeah. So that's Sunday at Plums. Right. And that's the um, 13th of December. December, right. You're playing Tuesday at the Nines. Right. Okay. That's, that'll, that'll be the duet. Monday. Yeah, it was originally Monday, but they, oh, they moved okay. it. Good enough. Now, how about the next number? Why don't you... 
Okay, Tell us a quick one. Like this is pretty much a standard that uh, if anyone had like a childhood, they've seen uh, The Wizard of Oz. So we're going to play Over the Rainbow. That's a beautiful number, and I heard you play it in Princeton, and uh, I can't wait to hear it again. Yeah. Thank you.
tune. This one was written by Grover Washington Jr. And he plays it on tenor, but I'm going to do it on alto. It's called Mr. Magic. Then it's going to start us off here.
Very nice, Mr. Magic, and Over the Rainbow. Um, over the Rainbow, that middle part, um, that's what they call swinging, right? Uh, yeah, you guys we were, to you swing. swung, right? Right. You we did emphasize some. like two and four. You know, Got it, okay. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else here. I was dancing uh, on those tunes. Um, we don't have a lot of time, and you do have something special for us, so um, right, we won't we talk long. Oh, by the way, didn't I tell you to dress for the show? Oh, I didn't dress good? I'm sorry. No, you're, you're okay. <laughs> I mean, just... um, okay. I thought you I was want... wearing clothes. <laughs> What's that? Maybe not. <laughs> All right. Um, you wanted to say a couple of words about your music. Well, just a little bit about what I was going to get into here, just that, uh, that some of the stuff I'm going to do is uh, adding some electronic effects to the flute. And I just... Um, I think that 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 is one way that that you know music might be going just because you know computers and all the technology is really increasing a lot of music is a lot of more or a lot more music is becoming electronic so I want to try to put that to use on the flute. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be good. Uh, which tune are you going to do? Um, I don't know. Basically, what I'm going to do is just purely improvise and just uh, we'll see what happens. You know, so just whatever. Strictly improv by right, Fred Wright. Throw in a, a tune or two, but but. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. Sounds good. Before we leave, I would like to thank the crew of uh, Jerry, Tim, Matt, and because uh, that just leaves me, I'll thank myself. Um, thank you guys very much for being on Ithaca Music today, and I'll catch one or both of your shows in town. Great. And uh, either see you in Ithaca or Princeton next. So uh, go to it. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, we'll meet.